everyone. This is Christy with AG Takes Over, and um, I, this is part two, as you can see in the title. If you haven't watched part one, please stop what you're doing and go watch part one, um, because I am unboxing a huge lot, like huge lot of um, American Girl of Today things that my wife and I got from face, through Facebook Marketplace, um, and I, the first video was a full 30 minutes of um, the, the story, like six minutes of telling the story of, of how we got it. And then the rest was just pulling stuff out. And I think we're like a third, if that, of the way into um, this entire lot. So um, please go watch that if you haven't. But if you just watched it or you, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm just going to jump right in. Oh, by the way, please like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I am ready to keep going. So, here's bag number, I don't know what, okay, this is all shoes. Um, by the way, whoever sent this to us did, like, sent it kind of like, all the hats are in a bag, all the shoes are in a bag, for the most part. Like, what is in bags was kind of categorized by accessory type or whatever type. So, well, this is nice. I'm um, kind of surprised, given this seller, that they were um, thoughtful enough, this was probably done by, I don't know who, but um, that they stuffed them so they kept their shape. So this goes to the hiking outfit. These are in perfect shape. Like, I know this is not a pair of shoes that's prone to cracking or like a lot of wear anyway, but like really they're in perfect shape. They still have the sticker on the bottom. <laughs> I was watching a video the other day where somebody's like, the soles are like perfect. And I was like, they don't actually run in them. Like <laughs> American Girl doll shoes don't generally like, well, the soles are mostly worn down because they owned them for a lot of years. Like, yeah, the, of course the soles are good. Um, all right. These, gosh, these are like brand new. Like perfect. They go to, I mean, I think they use these for several and some of them, the difference is whether this part is black or this kind of brown clearish stuff, but I'm pretty sure these are from the, um, the school jumper outfit, maybe among other things. Um, <laughs> to prove my point, here's another pair of them. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, uh, they didn't all get things put in, um, tissue put in them, but... They're still in perfect shape. So pair number two, even though we have a pair of these, I'm, I'm inclined to keep at least one more pair because these are like, they're golden little Doc Martens for dolls. Um, in the first video, I opened the inline skate gear shirt in one of the bags. So we're slowly piecing it together. Um, the hiking outfit socks. We own these. I love them. They're just, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't, it's sealed, so I don't want to take them out in case these are ones that end up being ones that we sell, but um, they, they're really good quality. You don't see it all the time with them these days. All right, somebody's skates. I don't know what outfit these go to, but um, probably the skating star one because I opened the hair clip in it just a few minutes ago in a prior video. And they've got the skate guards. These are really nice. The skate guards won't just fall off because they have this little thing here. So like you have to take them off starting pulling here, but this part kind of slides on to keep them on. Which if you own any that don't have that, you know, they do fall off. Okay, these are um, Pleasant Company. I'm assuming Agot since the whole lot is pretty much Agot with rare random exceptions, but I have no idea what outfit these go to yet. So this, we bought a whole lot of things that we knew what we were getting and then the lady said, oh, I'm throwing in some other things. So this must have been from an outfit that she threw in extra things because I don't recognize them. And when we were like planning on getting this, I did research any outfit that I didn't recognize that I knew we were getting. Okay. Um, let's see. These brown ones 
have this on the back and if I remember correctly they go to the um, blue ribbon riding outfit. Did you place those shoes already? Mm -hmm. Tell me. The snowball sweater and leggings. Set. Oh okay I just didn't recognize the shoes. They, they go to these go to the snowball sweater and leggings set or outfit or whatever. Anyway I think these go to the blue ribbon riding outfit. Um, it's a matter of finding, okay. I don't know what these come from, but I see three of them, so uh, hopefully there's a fourth. These shoes. Maybe a recital outfit, we'll see. This, this bag right here is gonna put my um, trivia to the test the most because I don't just have all the shoes memorized. These though, and then I do. Um, these are from the play outfit, the one with the red flowered skirt and the red flowered headband. Um, they're actually not in bad shape. I'm gonna do a close up and make sure that it gets in focus because if you are familiar with these, it's very hard to find them not like crinkled beyond recognition and they're smooshed but they're not seemingly cracked which is kind of a shocker i was just assuming like expect these to be garbage so cool um these i don't know i don't know what they go to Maybe if I see pieces of the outfit later, I'll remember, but I just thought, okay, so if you haven't watched the last video, go do it. But I think I might know what these go to because Grace told me there's an outfit that's in there that you're going to pee yourself. And now I think I know what it is. Can I ask you? Is it the Kwanzaa outfit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, people always say on, on AG2 videos, like, I'm gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. But I might have peed myself a little bit. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have like all the excitement. I don't care, I don't care. Okay, so do, do these go to it? Okay, so these are from the Kwanzaa outfit and apparently some pieces of it are in there and I did not know that was coming. <laughs> so excited. Oh my gosh. This lady, if you watched the first video, you know, it was a trip. It was like a month and a half long process of somebody who maybe doesn't know how to use a computer, certainly doesn't know how to communicate in anything remotely resembling a timely manner. So it was like, is it really worth the hassle that we're going through to try to get this lady to just take our money and send us the stuff? But yes, it was, it totally was. So excited. Okay, um, soccer, volleyball, some kind of sports ball. Looks like, looks like the volleyball because I know there's a teal and turquoise, I mean teal and turquoise, a teal and purple volleyball outfit. So I think that's that. Those are in perfect shape too. I mean, again, some of these, like, they're not more known for cracking, but still, things that are, these are historical, because the 90s girls are historical, so all of this clothing is from a historical era known as the 1990s. Um, and nothing stinks, by the way. Nothing has smelled like mildew or mold or anything, like, I would know, because I would be already itchy. Um, just some plain cream colored um, shoes. These are from the Hanukkah outfit in like 1995, 96, I don't remember, 90 something. These look so skinny. These can't be, I mean, one of them's broken anyway, but um, anybody recognizes these? If, if, if I can even get it where you can see them, they're pale pink, there we go. Um, but look, they look so narrow, especially these, I mean, compared to these, they look so tiny. Um, I, I kind of doubt that these are brand because these girls have big feet. 
in the 90s, so I can't imagine that they would fit into those. Um, since, <laughs> since I already got one out, I might as well show you the other. Oh my God, they're in perfect shape. These are from the Earth Day outfit, and I'm pretty sure the whole thing is in there. Like, even the hair thing is in there. Look, they have, unlike pretty much all of the other ones of this time, they actually have a recycling symbol on the sole. How fun is that? We have never owned these. We've never had the shoes. We've had a couple pieces of the Earth Day outfit, um, but we've never had them. We've never had the whole thing in its entirety, and we've never owned the shoes. Um, these might might be the tennis shoes. I'm not sure. Um, I will find out in due time, but there we go. Let me turn this down just a bit. Okay. The... We just got these because we really wanted them, but the um, Blue Jean Basics tennis shoes. These are another one kind of like these black boots that like I almost would keep both pair. I don't know. They're just like such classic. I know we're going to get a ton of use out of them. Everything still has the sticker on there because they didn't even run them off and wear down the soles. Um, a couple random red shoes in here. Okay, I don't recognize these, but they are Pleasant Company. The, um, the old Lunar New Year outfit is not in here, is it? The, it's all red, like with the paper lanterns and everything. I'm not going to say anything. She's not going to say anything. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I don't know who these whose these are, but the red shoes is what made me wonder. Since we're already lucking out and getting the oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. That outfit has black shoes. Okay, that outfit has black shoes, but she's still not answering about whether it's in here or not. If you missed the first video, this is the first time that I'm ever like actually seeing the things for the first time on camera, and she's already seen it all. So. Okay, um, these shoes, I feel like they go to, it's like a beachy outfit. I can, if I'm thinking of the right one, I can picture it in my head, but I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. We've never owned them, I can tell you that much. Okay, another pair of socks. Tennis outfit socks. Survey says... Um, I don't know whose these are, but they have snaps and they're very soft. Some of these, like, I'm interested to know how many of the shoes from that time were actually leather because some of them clearly are leather. Do we already have, are these the um, twister socks? Do we own them? Okay, no, we don't? Okay, score. All right, we have the twister set, but not the, oh my gosh, focus. But not the twister socks until today. <laughs> this is the best lot. Um, here's another pair of those black shoes with the two gold um, yeah, and I got confirmation. Man, I'm going to make Grace sit here every time. She's over here looking stuff up as I film. Um, yes, they are from the recital, so maybe we have two recital outfits, or maybe we just somehow have two pair of shoes. Or maybe these shoes go to two outfits, like those pink sparkly boots that they have used multiple times. Um, I think these are from the picnic outfit. No, I know these are from the birthday one. Culotte, culotte dress, the um the red culotte dress with the yellow hat. Okay, they're in perfect condition. And 
these go to the birthday dress, which is in here. So excited. And this was a heck of a lot. Um, if you didn't watch the first video, it was after shipping $240. And Grace and I have separate budgets for our doll stuff, so we each paid $120 for this. I have no idea what these go to. They're little sunshines. Those are definitely from the AG as eight to 10 year olds. Um, these are from the picnic thing. Why was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. I know what shoes go with the picnic outfit. These do. These little Teva looking things. These go to the medieval princess costume, right? It's not in there? Okay. I mean, that's not a bummer for us because we already own it. We own that one from your childhood, right, Grace? Or no? Okay. Anyway, um, we probably gonna, won't need to keep those, so I'm happy to occasionally come, off, come across things that we can sell. Um, another pair of those same white shoes that I said I think went to the tennis outfit, so I don't know if they do or if we, or again, they have been known to use the same shoes for more than one outfit. Oh, these are in good shape. Um, these are the shoes from the first day outfit and we have shoes for it, but they're not in great shape. So I got a feeling we're going to be keeping these and selling the others. Yeah, they're in perfect shape. That's good news for Grace. Some leaves. Free. All right. Maybe they're historical from Kirsten's era. All right, here we go. Socks. Socks from... These are the... Um... Blue Jean Basics. These are first day. I don't, you can't sue us if I'm wrong, but I don't know. I think I'm right. And this is from the Opry Ski Year um, thing. So what we don't need in life is another ski set. I mean, another um, cast and like crutches and stuff. But this one is more detailed and interesting because it actually is signed. Ski you later from Elizabeth. Elizabeth was so clever. All right. Did you strategically hide anything that you knew I would be geeked out over? No? Okay. Um, these are from the dog sled outfit. Um, I just watched a video today where um, Anne... Today? Yesterday? Anyway, I watched a video recently where Anne mentioned getting this from Meg, Anne of Now and Forever AG, and Meg from Bugs Dolls. And Meg did not send the shoes, and she said, they're kind of uggo, though. <laughs> and eh, that's that's not a lie. Um, I mean, I'm glad that we got them, but they don't, they don't seem the most comfortable at, at any rate. All right. Um, tubing jacket, terrific tubing jacket with, this one's in really good shape. Yeah, if we have this, um, we're totally switching it out for this. Because <laughs> this one is whatever we... Um, we just... I don't know. We've had it, and then we've not. But we've had like varying quality of it. And we've had it never really complete. So, um, yeah, I think I might actually keep this one. This is in really good shape. I would like to say, take a moment of whatever to like thank whoever was the childhood collector from all this because they did not trash their collection like at all and you could say you don't know it might have been an adult collector but in that little um in the last video i opened a school backpack the school gear one backpack and some little kid had written in it like in very much little kid handwriting so i do think it was a child's collection but they took great care of it the elastic's not stretched out or anything. These are the pants to the terrific tubing outfit. Oh, um, it's so random, so very random. 
these are the boots to that. Mm -hmm. We've never had these. And they're not cracked. Like, no, none of these things are cracked from wear. Like, I have a feeling if this person owned Lindsay's shoes, they wouldn't even be cracked. And that would be a miracle. Like, I think they have to be hermetically sealed. Okay, there's one little spot here where the fake fur is um, got a stain on it, but we can try out all our tested, tried and true stain removal methods and see what we can do. And here are the little mittens for it. They're very cute. Let's see. Oop told you that slowly but surely we were getting oh wait a minute these might be the boots to that um come to think of it these might be the boots for the um dog sled outfit not the red ones then what do these go to they are american girl i mean pleasant company i'll find out okay not these i think these are the ones that go to the dog sled outfit aren't ugly those are cute the red ones are kind of ugly but these are cute all right all right so more stuff for the inline skate gear so so far we have the skates the shirt the helmet now and the um all the pads the wrist guard whatever wrist guards and knee pads so i think now all we're missing are the green shorts Find those green shorts. All right. Mini grin pins. Um, I was informed by Grace. She, the, the one freebie she gave me was, um, there are a crap ton of these. She said, if this person got one of these with each outfit that they bought, then the outfits that we got only scratched the surface of how much they must have owned because there were a, a ton of these. All right, I'm actually gonna have to pause to like reach down and get some stuff out, so BRB. All right, I'm looking at the time and I told Grace, I think this is gonna have to be a third video. This is nuts, nuts. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to show you this without like, this is not the loom because we had that once. We had Josefina's loom. Um, this is Kirsten's loom, so her weaving loom portfolio of pastimes and it shows you exactly how to make stuff how to put this together what all the pieces are called um the likelihood of me learning how to weave on a loom is about zero so we will have to decide they've even got yarn for us and they picked it in very like kirsten-esque colors um yeah, but it looks complete, so we'll have to decide what to do with this. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, gosh. She was not kidding. I found the grin pins, friends. Get ready to grin. Oh, my gosh. I'm mostly going to look through here to see if there's anything that's not grin pin related because, holy crap, is this a lot. Um, yeah, there's some other things. There's the... Um, this comes with the backpack accessories, the hiking or whatever accessories. There's the um, Grand Teton National Park. Hold on. There we go. It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. A lot of... Um, Aw, uh, trim a tree, making miniature ornaments. She's in those overalls. I don't think that those overalls are in here, unless it was a surprise. Um, Samantha Parkington. Oh, at least we can figure out who did they have in their collection. Josefina. Samantha again. Um, the Hanukkah outfit. Which, so far, um, if you're keeping track, all we have come across are the shoes. The ready-to-sled doggo outfit, which Grace is telling me is not in there. Boo. 
The Macintosh computer's not in there. I know that she would have probably not been able to keep a secret. This is the, sorry, the orienteering accessories. I came across the watch with the um, compass already and then just found this. I don't know if these are in here or not, but we shall see. Um, uh, the paper dolls are part of the um, Apres Ski Gear, like you broke your leg, what are you going to do with your time thing? And it's nothing's been used at all. This is Sarah Street or Straight. And little decorations for that um, pinwheel thing. I don't know if that's in here yet, but it like it's metal and the little disc goes, oops, I don't know. It's, it's getting late. I don't know. I'm not going to show you all the grin pins. Like I said, I'm just looking to see what's not a grin pin in here. Um, Molly McIntyre. Molly McIntyre. Caution. Please all... <laughs> so cute. Please only pretend to take your girl of today for a swim. She is not water resistant. All right, Josefina's. Chris, I don't think we got, like, the historical collection must be elsewhere. And in, like, 26 weeks, we might be able to get that lady to get the historical collection together and send it to us. Wouldn't that be great? Croquet rules. Any croquet stuff in there? No. All right, American, the American girls love the American girls. Meet Pleasant Roland. Oh, this is so cute. It's the premier issue of the American Girl News, the official newspaper of the American Girl Club. This is stinking adorable. On the back, it's got a crossword puzzle. It's got like instructions on how to make a book cover. Some of you know about the days of the book covers. Um, and the inside is a gallery of American girls. So it's pictures of actual kids um, and then their drawings of American girl. There's eek, a very bad hair day and like care and styling tips for, oh, I've seen this. Um, somebody has shared this on a Facebook group that Grace and I are in and it shows like the step-by-step -step of how to recreate the meat, like Addie's braid meat hairstyle. Oh my gosh. Okay. It really is going to be like all night if I go through this whole thing. But if I find other cute treasures in here, cause it's mostly grin pins, like lots and lots of grin pin stickers, lots of them. Um, if I, if we want to throw ourselves an American girl, like American girl of today birthday party, we have favors. Um, but yeah, if I find some other cute non grin pin things in here, I'll like do a flat lay or pictures at the end, but I'm going to move on. So cause it's already looking like it's going to be three videos. This is nuts. Okay, maybe not all the things are in here. Grace is looking at me like, don't get your hopes up. But I see some of it. So whatever's in here, like we were not expecting any of this. So if like one little piece, I mean, I guess if it's one shoe, I'll be like, but if anything else um, is in there, then that's fine. She's already telling me, get ready to be disappointed. But I'm not disappointed if nothing else is in here. Doesn't this go to the Kwanzaa set? <gasps> okay, okay. Anything from the Kwanzaa set or the... Um, Lunar New Year set I am pumped about because we were not expecting that. So here is this thing. Um, goes this way maybe. Um, it goes like it goes under the shirt. I, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but um, here is her money. This is so cool. It looks like legitimate money like it has stains on it and some writing on it like 
is this what was supposed to be in here? Those of you who know, like, I'm sending Grace to the World Wide Web to find out. Like, this has somebody's handwriting on it, like, in Chinese, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what else would go in here, but... So, I'm seeing all the... Yeah, it's not doll size. Like, this is legit size. Maybe this didn't even come with it. Maybe somebody just added this. Like, maybe they were, I don't know, had some occasion to acquire that and did and just put it in there for authenticity. Like, this is so cool. Okay, so these things. Um, I have wanted, like, any of this, but I'm not. Like, I am not shelling out the money that I would get charged to get all of this. So it would actually be easier to find just these two pieces than it would be to find all of this stuff. So I'm kind of pumped about this. And, um, God, it's already over 30 minutes. How does this happen? Um, and we have other, like, Lunar New Year outfits that we can use this stuff with. So even if I never got the outfit, like this is cool to get. Like this thing. Which I'll probably know what the proper name for it is once I read that little brochure. Uh, more grin pins, because we didn't have enough grin pins. And something non-money is in here. Um, hold on. Yeah, I just... Oh, somebody's name, um, who works at Market Research Strategy and Communications, Packaging packaging Equipment, and Food Processing Equipment. That is a lot to put on a business card. Um, all right. More grin pins and some tissue paper. Okay. Oh, and the ribbons, because doesn't that outfit have ribbons? Mm -hmm. Yes, and her ribbons. Okay, I'll take it. We did not expect it. It's a bonus. And we're now, I think I can get it done in three videos. <laughs> I'm going to get it done in three videos. All right. So um, for me, this is a pause for just a couple seconds to take a breather and stretch out my legs. And for you, this is like, see you next week, maybe. All right. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, let me know what, just comment whatever you want that's relevant in the comments. All right.